guys! Welcome to Animal Adventures This Week. My name is Jalen, and I am so excited that you are here today doing our craft. So, as I said before in other videos, June is dairy month, so this is our last animal craft that we will be doing on Wednesdays that has to do with dairy. So first, let's go over what you're going to need for this craft. You're first going to need three pieces of white paper. I just have some wrapping computer paper. Next, you're going to need a pencil to help us draw some spots, a stapler, and I brought some extra staples just in case I run out, a white crayon, some glue. You can either have um, this kind of glue or you could have the stick glue. Either way is fine. A black marker, some scissors, and then a black piece of paper, a pink piece of paper, and the blue piece of paper. So let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to do is we need to actually make the headband. It might be helpful if you have a parent nearby or another sibling that can help you with this because you're going to have to measure your head. So first I'm going to just staple these two pieces together to begin with because I already know that my head probably going to need three pieces of paper. So I'm just going to staple the top of the piece of paper and staple the bottom piece of paper. Next, since I'm doing this by myself, I'm going to measure to see if this works. So if I do it this way, you guys can see that when I measure it, there's a gap right here in the middle of my head. So I'm going to need a third piece of paper. You guys might not need a third piece of paper and that's okay. My head just is a little bit bigger probably. So I'm going to take this third piece of paper right here. I'm going to staple the top. And I'm going to staple the bottom. Now I'm going to measure to make sure that's going to fit my head. And it's for sure going to fit my head. <laughs> so I have some extra. So I'm going to put my finger where I think that there's some extra. And I'm going to take my scissors. And I'm just going to cut off this extra. And then decorate. Now this is when you guys have a choice with your headband, because this is yours and you can make it however you want to. So as you can see with my headband, it's kind of tall. So personally, I don't think that I'm going to want my headband to be that tall. So I'm going to cut off half of what the headband is. So if I'm cutting off half of the headbands, that means I'm going to have to restaple the pieces of paper together. And that's okay. Because I was measuring it by myself, but if you have a friend or a sibling or a parent help you, then you might not need to do this. So now I have my piece of paper that I'm going to keep for my headband. And I have this extra piece of paper. I'm going to put that to the side because we're going to use that later. But now you can tell that my three pieces of paper aren't together anymore. So we're going to go and we're going to staple these together like that. So now we have our headbands. We're not going to put the two ends together yet because we're going to decorate it. So the first step that we are going to do is we're going to make the spots. This is going to be a Holstein cow. So this is a black and white cow. Cows can come in different colors, they can be brown, they can have a reddish reddish color to them, they can have spots, they don't have to have spots. So if you don't want to do spots, or if you want to have a different colored cow, you are more than welcome to do that. 
So here I am, I'm going to be taking my black piece of paper and I'm going to take my white crayon and I'm going to start drawing some spots on this paper. So if now you this, if I was to use a pencil and draw on the black, it doesn't really come up. I can't, I can kind of see it, but it's not very well. So that's why I had you guys grab a white crayon so we can draw the spot to make sure we can see them before we cut them out. So for these spots, I'm just going to start making whatever design that I think would look like a spot. Spots on cows are completely different. There's no two cows that have the same exact markings, similar, but they're never as exactly the same. So I'm just going to make some spots. Some of these, to me, kind of look like a peanut. Like that one, that looks like a peanut to me. I'm just going to draw a simple circle for this spot. With your spots, you can draw circles. You can draw different shapes like I was doing. You can draw them big. You can draw them small. Whatever you want, because we're going to be putting these spots on our white headband. So we're going to need quite a few. Also with this headband, it's just going to be on top of your head, so we're, we don't have to make eyes, we don't have to make a nose, we don't have to make a tongue or anything for this headband, because your face is going to be the face of the cow. So here I am just making sure that I'm making a lot of different spots. They don't have to be perfect, they don't have to be the same. That's a really cool thing about making spots for cows, they can all be different. Now, I'm going to put my white crayon away. I'm going to get my, my scissors, and I'm going to start cutting out these spots. When I like to cut things that are a little bit more detailed, I like to just cut them like so, instead of individually going out around them at first, because I find that it makes it easier to hold a smaller piece of paper when I'm cutting them, instead of this big piece of paper. So I'm just going to quickly go around each of these spots and I'm just going to cut them very quickly because this isn't a final step of cutting my spots. So if you guys have been following along since the first week of the dairy crafts, I had some dairy facts the very first week. So to refresh our minds with some of those, when you have different dairy animals, they have different names. For instance, a baby cattle would be a cat or would be a calf. So if you have siblings or even yourself, if you were a cow, you would be called a calf. And then there's also different names for boys and for girls. One of the girls' names is called a heifer. A heifer means that it's a female girl and she hasn't had a calf yet. So this could be your sisters, your cousins, your friends that, haven't, that are a girl but haven't had a baby yet. But your mamas, those are called cows in cattle terms because they have had a baby. So I thought that was pretty cool that there's different names for different animals in the cattle family. And when you're just calling and talking about the animals in general, you just call them cattle. I also I wanted to look up to see what the number one ice cream flavor in America was. And I found out that the number one ice cream flavor is vanilla. That kind of surprised me because my favorite flavor isn't vanilla. My favorite flavor is probably Oreo or mint chocolate chip. I have friends that like cookie dough, um, just chocolate. I thought that was pretty interesting that our top flavor is vanilla. 
So I'm just quickly going through my different spots. I created quite a few of them, but you do not have to make them this size. You do not have to make this many of them. You can make how many you want, whatever that looks like for you. Also, if you can notice on my spots, you can kind of see the white outline that I drew so I knew where to cut for my spots. That's perfectly okay. If you don't want those on your headband, you can simply just flip over the spot when we go to glue them. So I have quite a bit more to cut out. I'm trying to think of some more fun dairy facts. Well, here's a good question. What kind of cow makes chocolate milk? I'll give you guys a second to think about that. But chocolate milk actually comes from any dairy cow because when you milk a cow, it doesn't come out chocolate. You put other things in the milk to make it chocolate, to make it strawberry, to make it whatever flavor you want. But one fun way that you can make chocolate milk at home if you just have milk and you don't have actually chocolate milk is you can put some chocolate syrup in there. You can ask parents if you can use that and you can put that in there. So I just have two spots left to do and then we're gonna move on to something else. We're actually gonna move on to the ears next so I can get these last two done. Also, if you're watching this video later on and you did not do as many spots as I did, please feel free to fast forward and to skip to the next part. All right, so I have all my spots done. I'm gonna put those to the side. I'm gonna put my scissors down for the time being. I'm going to grab one of my pieces of white paper and I'm going to start drawing my ears. So I'm gonna take my pencil and when I'm drawing my ear, it kind of looks like a really long, I think it looks like an orange slice, but this is what I'm, what I'm trying to do. It kind of looks like a football, but without the other end touching with the point. So if you would have continued this, it would have looked like a football, but it kind of looks like we took a little bit off the football off. So this is going to be my first year, and I'm going to cut this out following along the lines. If it's not perfect, that's okay because I can flip this over and cover up my pencil lines. If you wanted to do two ears at the same time, like we did a few weeks ago, you could take a piece of paper and you could fold it in half. But now I'm taking the other half of my headband that I made. I'm taking out the staple so it's by itself and I'm just going to avoid that area because I don't want to staple in my ear. Now you could have either pulled it in half and done this or you can just trace your other ear so they look the same. And I'm just following along holding it with my finger following along gently with my pencil and again my piece of paper just came up which means that I'm going to have pencil line right there, but that's okay because we're going to switch it and flip it over. So I'm just going to cut this out, just following along, and voila, I have my two ears. I'm going to put those aside, and next I'm going to take pink piece of paper right here and I'm going to take my ear again. So the pink paper is going to go inside of this ear. So we don't want to trace this ear. We just want to use it to see how big our other inner ear would be. So I'm just going to put it to the side and I'm just again going to again draw the somewhat football 
I'm just going to draw it like this. So it looks like a baby football that is going to fit inside of the ear. So I'm going to move my ears to over here. And then I'm just going to cut this. I'm cutting along the lines. Again, if your pencil marks still show, that's okay. Just flip it over. Now I'm going to take my piece of paper and I'm going to trace it and cut out another inner ear. You don't have to trace. You could just freehand it. You could have folded your paper. This is really up to you with how you want to make these. So I'm just going to cut out this piece following the lines as best as I can. I'm going to set that piece of paper aside. We're done with it. And now I have the second inner ear. So I'm going to take my headband and we're going to start gluing on the spots. So it doesn't matter if you have the staples facing out or the staples facing in. It's whatever you want to do. So I'm going to take my glue now. And I'm going to just start paint, or gluing my spots wherever I think. These really don't take a lot of paint or a lot of glue because they're smaller pieces. So see, I am flipping over my spots so I don't see the white crayon, but you do not have to do that. So I'm just tapping and gluing them all down. I have quite a few, so this might take me a little bit. But here I am just sorting, making sure I have all my spots. I just put three little dabs of glue on there. And then I'm just going to put this one right here. That's a really cool thing that you could just do these spots however you want them to be. Okay. So that part's done. I might have made too many spots, but that's okay because I could cut some of these spots up and I can put them on my ears if I want my ears to have some spots too. So this is sticking really well. It does not take a lot of glue. Just make sure you press it down really good so it doesn't come off. more that I'm going to do and I'm going to cut them so they can fit the ears. Some of these look like peanuts, some of these look like figure eight face. I think that's the really cool thing about making your spots. Because I don't think that my spots or your spots will look the same, which means that our headbands are going to be really cool and really unique. Okay, this is the last spot I'm going to put on. Put it over here. All right, I'm just going back and I'm making sure these are all pressed down. Pretty good. Now I'm going to set that aside so it can start to dry. I'm going to take my ears. I'm going to flip them over so the pencil marks aren't showing. And I want to glue these inside of the ears. I'll flip them over so the pencil marks aren't showing. Dabbing some glue. I'm pressing that down to make sure that the glue is sticking. Grabbing my other piece of pink paper, repeating the steps, putting the glue on, dot, dot, dot. It kind of looks like a zigzag. It's fun. And then we're adding this back on. This piece of paper I forgot to flip over, so some of my pencil marks are there, but that's okay. I do not mind. So now I'm going to take some of these spots, I'm going to take my scissors, and I'm just going to cut them and make them into little, little shapes that I'm going to put on my ears. This one might actually fit. That's just going to be one large one. Again, make sure you get 
enough glue that everything sticks. Pop it in this spot. And this here. Since that's a big spot, I don't think I need another one. I think I'll just do a little spot on this other here. I'm just gonna put it down here. Actually, I'll end this one. Just for fun. All right, I'm just gonna press these down, make sure that they're sticking. I'm gonna set those to the side so they can continue to dry for me. Now I'm gonna take my blue piece of paper and I'm going to take my pencil finally and we're going to make what they call an ear tag. An ear tag goes in the cow's ear so then the farmer knows what the cow's name is so they can identify which one is different, if they have to take medicine, if they were, are weighing them, um, anything like that. So it's kind of like the cow's name, or if you're wearing a name tag during school or at a camp. So this is the cow's name tag. So we are going to start, start off by drawing a box, a box with some rounded edges. So here I'm just drawing a square and then I'm going to draw just like a little, a little hill on top. I'm going to continue the square, the box with a rounded edge down to the bottom. So this is what I just drew. If you can see, it might be easier when I cut it out. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut it out. So I just made, it's pretty much just a square with a little hill on top. And the little hill on top is what will actually go into the cow's ear. So this is just going to be my simple little ear tag. Might be a little big, but that's okay. Then we'll have a lot of space to put the name of our cow. So if you want, you can cut it to be smaller. This is really up to you. Also, another step that you could do instead of this, if you want, you could add a flower to your cow's ear. You could add um, anything that you really want. I'm also going to make a smaller hill Kind of looks like a window. I'm drawing a little window inside of that hill. I'm going to fold it in half, just that part, and I'm going to cut out this little window. This little window is going to act as a hole where the little ear tag would go in the cow's ear. So I'm just cutting this out. Not perfect by any means, but that's okay. So this is kind of what the ear tag is going to look like. You can cut it so it's smaller, however you want this to look. So I'm going to name, I'm flipping it over, and I'm going to take my black marker, and I'm going to name my cow. Hmm, what should I name my cow today? I'm going to name her Bessie. So to spell Bessie, I'm just putting B, B, S, S, I, E. Bessie. So you don't have to do a name, you could do numbers, you could do a few letters, a few numbers, you could leave a blank, whatever you want. So I'm just going to see where I'm probably going to put it on my the ear, but I'm going to leave that to one of the last steps. So now I'm checking my headband to see how it is drying. Looks like everything's drying pretty well. Now I'm going to Kind of fold it so it starts to make a circle. Also notice when I was putting on my spots, I didn't put the spots on where the paper was folding. So for instance, I didn't put a spot right there where the paper connected. So your friends, your parents, 
your cousins, your siblings, someone can help you with this. But since I am by myself, I'm just going to measure it myself. And I think right there is a good spot. So I'm going to mark on so my real pencil on my headband of where it's going to be attached. So now that I know this is where I'm going to attach my headband, now I need to put the ears on. I'm grabbing my ears. And you can either do this one of two ways. You could put the ears on right now, or you could glue or staple your headband together and then put the ears on. I am actually going to do that. I'm going to staple it. And I'm going to put my ears on. So here I'm taking my stapler, I have my headband, and I'm going to put two staples on the bottom, a staple on the top. It looks like my headband was not very even. So I'm just cutting this so I can put my staple. It's okay. You can adapt. And I'm just going to staple the top. Now I have my headband. You need to go back and you need to add some more glue for your spots. That's okay too. So now I have my headband put together. So now I'm just going to put it on my head. I look a little silly. That's okay. And I'm going to see where I want to put my ears. I think my ears will go right here. So we're just going to take our ears and we're just going to glue them. It's going to be the easiest if we glue by folding them. So we fold the bottom of the ear like so. So there's a little flap and we're just going to, you can either staple or you could glue this. I think that it might be a little bit easier just to staple them. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just taking, I'm going to put it up towards the top of the headband just because it's easier to use my stapler that way. So I'm just going to put a staple right there to hold it in place. It's kind of floppy, but I think that kind of makes it fun. It's like the ears are blown in the wind or something. So that's where my first ear is right there. So I'm going to take my other ear and I'm going to, again, fold it. So I'm folding it so there's a little flap like that. I'm going to just kind of eyeball where I think the other, the other ear should be. I think that looks pretty good. So we're going to take the stapler. Again, I'm stapling it at the top of my headband. You can do your ears at the bottom of the headband. You can do them in the middle if you're gluing them. But for me to use my stapler, it's easiest for me to do it from the top. So here we have our two ears. This is so exciting. Now our last step that we have to do is we got to put our name tag on. So I'm going to turn the, the headband towards me. And it doesn't matter what ear it's in. I am just going to, I think I'm going to put it on this ear. So again, this is a choice if you want to staple your, your ear tag in or if you want to glue it. I think that I'm going to try to glue it. So I just put a little glue on the top of the ear tag. And I'm just putting it on the back. I can put it on the front. It's really whatever you ever want to do. See if we can put it on. So you can see the glue. So we're just going to put it on the front. I'm using orange alpha glue, so it's going to dry clear. So that's okay that there's some glue on the front right now. But again, this is your cow headband. If you want to make it different, if you don't like something that you did with it, that's okay too. You can take it off. You can re-glue it. You could remake a different part of this. But I'm just going to make sure that it's holding on as it should. So I think that it's on pretty well. I'm going to try it on, see how it looks. Oh, this is so exciting. My cow head and This is so cool. Well, thank you guys so much for being here today. Happy Dairy Month. Make sure that you're drinking lots of milk or other dairy products if you can. 
And just thank you guys so much. Stay tuned for later tonight for bedtime stories. Log back in and see what we're reading tonight. Thank you guys.